Risa Floor utilizes intuitive floor-by-floor -floor model input to design and optimize building systems constructed of composite and non-composite steel, concrete, masonry, wood, and coal form steel. In this video, we'll go over how to slope members in Risa Floor. Here's an image of the final sloped roof we are going to model in this video. So we have several sloping directions happening on this gable roof here and here. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got this model started here and basically just a nice flat roof. I did outline this already so that it's ready to go. I also made some selection states which I'll show you later so that it would make it a little easier and a little bit quicker for modeling. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my top floor plan which would be my roof. Now like I said I actually did a few save selections that you can pick up or retrieve from this sidebar over here next to the selection dialog. Using the drop down dialog menu here, I'll set my slope to the east side and I can click retrieve. If I click on the change elevation tool here, you have two methods to define your roof slope, roof definitions and then elevated points. I'm going to choose the first option here and enter a 4 and 12 pitch. When you're sloping points, you want to make sure that you have the proper elements selected before because this tool is going to help move your elements and their connected elements and points to the slope designated. I have my elements selected and right now in, down in the status bar at the bottom left hand corner it says pick the first point of the roof starting plane. And I'll click a point along my base and you'll see this plane show up. Basically you just need to define a second point that gives you a plane for your base point. Now if I go to my full model view, you can see my gable pitch roof here. You can also see the program has extended the walls to meet the sloped roof also. The next slope I want to create is our overbuilt hip section over here. And to do this, we're going to use the second method called elevated points under the change elevations tool. Back in my first floor, I'm going to use my save selection states to select my ridge line only. Because I want to elevate my ridge members and essentially drag that connected elements up to the ridge. So I'm going to click on my change elevation tool and choose the elevated points tab. And then I'm going to enter in a value for that elevated point for my ridge line. To find that point, I'm going to go back to my model view. I'm going to hover over the coordinates so I can see the coordinates are 9.1667 feet and I'm going to use that value back in my elevated point window. I'm going to enter that. Once I click apply, I'm going to go back to my full model view again and you'll see that now the program has elevated that ridge line and brought all the connected elements together. At this point, we've completed the modeling of our structure. We could then move on to applying loads, running the analysis, and then reviewing design results. For those topics, as well as other topics, please visit our website, risa.com.